एवरी वन असलम आई मोहम्मद आजम समीर एंड आई बिलोंग टू आर्कियालॉजी एंड हेरीटेज स्टडी एंड क्रेजी अबाउट कल्चर क्रेजी अबाउट एंशन सिविलाइजेशन एंड क्रेजी अबाउट एंशन लैंग्वेज टूडे आई हैव कम विद द न्यू लेक्चर बेस्ड ऑन द सर्वाइविंग फोर्स इन चोलिस्तान डेजर्ट what does mean of you know cholistan as it i have already mentioned in my previous lectures cholistan actually the land of sand which is actually uh, you know situated in the in the district of bahawalpur pakistan and it has been renowned for many aspects such as you know archaeology such as Uh, heritage study such as architecture physiography and some water like you know aspects uh, in cholistan desert we have you know uh, many archaeological sites as i mentioned earlier but accompanied by archaeological sites there are also some important forts over there in this regard one important fort called derawar fort is still surviving in the cholistan desert what was the purpose to build this fort if we peep into past we know that a person named rai jajja bhatti he was the leader of a clan bhatti clan he built this fort and he was very strong at that time but uh some of the nawab they also snatched this fort from jajabati and uh, it has been you know under the premises of nawabs uh, this fort was you know built to protect the caravans or to to watch the illegal you know activities done by some you know foreigners who try to do their trade with eastern part and they try to use the hakda uh, river ways and all that this derawar fort is famous for many thing such as its 42 bastions it has very beautiful architecture some you know glazed work also over there and uh, if we uh, travel its inner side we would come to know the very powerful structure it is and uh, there were many activities done uh, in this fort it has been used for war like purposes as as well and some people say this fort was actually you know uh, had many Uh, tools many weapons to fight with the bar- barbarism and some you know foreigners so we can say uh, this fort has been used for multi purpose and uh, and there is also one beautiful mosque beside this fort that shows the tradition of you know musalla or mosque uh, with the big uh you know monument as we also have such mosques in dera nawab and in you know uh lahore fort the architecture of mosque is very beautiful resembles to the jame mosque in delhi india and white marble is used extensively then there are also some other forts such as you know rukunpur fort that fort is very close to the border but now it has transferred towards a mound or you know uh, entirely you know uh, dismantled and most of its part has been you know vanished uh, if we see this fort far away you would as we assume that it is nothing but a, but but a, but a very large mound uh, there must be many purposes of this fort as well maybe uh, it was used as a you know watch tower as a 
protector for the caravans or maybe war like activities or maybe this fort was built on the high parallel of the mount so if we excavate this fort we would have unique information about cholistan desert then we have mojgad islamgad and dinagad these three forts are you know very resembles to each other and their architecture is very much close to each other uh, small bricks used there are also bastions and but but they are small in size as compared to marod fort and derav fort uh maybe these forts also used for the caravan protections and some watch like tower and maybe maybe or maybe not for the uh war like activities then we have fort fulra fulra fort then we have marod fort marod fort is situated in the uh, bahawal uh, near to you know fotabas so uh it it has been said that there were almost 39 to 40 forts in district bahawalpur they have vanished and uh, maybe due to the negligence of governments and some you know institutions they couldn't protect all these forts if they can protect uh, the scenario and the situation would be uh, different which is right now then one thing is very alarming still aboriginal and some you know foreigner they do not have much interest to protect all these forts and and i suggest my suggestion is about uh, you know the protection and restoration of these forts and in this sense of understanding the government of pakistan should involve in, in it and archaeology department and some tourism or heritage department should do whatever they can do and uh, secondly the foreigner should come to see the cholistan desert and try their level best to do some activities to protect these fort as well thirdly the local people should also play their part they shouldn't uh, come to grab some treasures and don't try to dismantle the surviving forts they try to protect it they try to convey the message among all the message uh, all the masses to protect these forts because these forts are our assets and culture maybe we can have a new unique picture of our asset if we try to uh, protect all these forts in the near future thank you so much